Hello friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you how to design a simple PID controller in C. So before I proceed, so this is the equation of uh, the PID controller where KP is the uh, coefficient for pro uh, proportional uh, part, KI is for integral part and KD is for the uh, derivative part. So as I told in my other videos as well, if you can write anything in a mathematical equation, it can be designed in Simlink very easily. So let's see. Also before I proceed, I would like to show you that MathWorks does provide an inbuilt block called PID controller for to do the same purpose. So you can use this PID controller block also to do your purpose. But the objective of this video is to show you how you can design this controller uh, block very easily for your model. So let's start. First, let me create a empty simlink model. Let me save it. So PID controller simulink. If you notice, is another uh, model in my folder called Spring Mask Dam because we will use that model as uh, the plant model in our um, this exercise. I have shown how to design that plant model, the spring mass damping uh, model in one of my other videos, the link for which is above. Please watch the, that video to see the details. Okay, so first let's design the PID controller in this video. So PID controller, as I showed the equation, it's very simple. We have to just have a KP, KI and KD for uh, these three coefficients implemented. So for proportional part, it's very simple. We have to just put a gain, which is nothing but the KP part. I'll just probably put P here. Okay. Then we need a KI part in which again, I will need a first gain for the KI, which will be, and right now I, I'm leaving the values as a one. We will set the values later on. And after KI probably I'll need an integral uh, integrator, yeah, integral block. So it will integrate my these things. And one more thing I need is uh, derivative. So for KD part, I will need another uh, uh, gain block and I will name it as D. Okay. So these namings are just for your, our reference, nothing for you. Yeah. And then I will put a derivative block. So I'm leaving all the values default. I'm not doing any changes, nothing much. Okay, and um, at the end, I will need a sum block or addition block where I need. So basically, if you see the equation, all these three parameters are summed up together. So, uh, uh, yeah, so this becomes my output. My final output becomes this one, and my input will be this one. So uh, let's do one thing. Uh, input or probably import, not the input. I have to make it as an input. So I will try to convert it into a subsystem because that will uh, make it simpler for use. Just like this, and okay. So once I have it. And over here, of course, output. The values I will repeat. The values I will give it later on. So first, let me first complete the um, basic. So here, so I just create a subsystem out of it quickly. So this became our PID controller block for our uh, model. So this was so simple. I repeat, you can use the inbuilt uh, PID control block also, but it's more fun to design sometimes blocks on your own and rather than using it off the shelf from Mathbox uh, provided. Now for the plant model, what I'll do is I'll use the this uh, uh, spring mass damping which I have designed previously. So please note. Please do watch my other video in my playlist or the link is shared in this uh, video as well uh, to 
know how to design this plant model spring mass damping equation so here it is my uh, plant model now as an input uh, what i need is i will again need a error block like which finds the difference between my set point and the actual point so this spring mass damping output if you have seen my other video this is the displacement x of the block the mass block so i will put a set point here using a constant block and probably i will leave it a value one so i want it um, a set point of one over here i don't think i will need this and probably not a good idea so what i can do is i can bring this over here like this is good and yeah so once i have it uh, i will have to find the error over here so i will give that as a with a delete block and i just flip it and i find it minus Yeah, so this becomes something about the, our error E. So I can just probably mark it as E, e which is our error. So this is the difference between our set point, which is this one, and what is our actual value. So that's it. So this is our design. So probably to ch check the output, let me add a, a scope here. Scope and a scope with number of inputs probably uh, two. I would like to see the error also and and this output also in one of those. So I'll just add this here and I'll see the error over here. So my first axis will show me the difference between my set point and the real value. And probably I would like to change this as two axis also. So you can just go here quickly and set it like this. So it becomes my two axis uh, scope. That's it. So now let me run and please note right now I have left a value 111 over here that's not a correct value that will that's not a good PID controller tuning of course if you have learned the control system uh, theory you will be know how to do the tuning and nevertheless uh, I'll do this I don't need that I'll just open it yeah so if you see uh, I have my two outputs so this first one is the error so my set point is uh, 1 so it, it, it should go till 1 but it's not able to reach till 1 it's able to reach only till point 0.8 it's only for 10 seconds also so let me first increase till 100 seconds but then also I'm I think I'm sure it won't reach uh, okay good so if you see it it does reaches the my set point at around 70 seconds time frame and my error reduces from 1 slowly to 0 perfect but yeah, this I was not expecting, honestly speaking. So I was thinking like I will have to play with these numbers and uh, set the uh, different coefficient value to find the uh, convergence. But the default value is also fine. And But nevertheless, uh, let me try with different values. So probably I will try with um, uh, 10 or, or, or probably 7. Uh, as coefficient because this these are some of the values which I have tried with my other examples and probably 1.8 to see how it behaves now and so I have changed the values of uh, coefficient so I'm expecting this graph to change a bit because the settling time and all those rising time should change yeah that's it I was expecting this so if you see now although this there gets converged at 30 is much faster but this is overshoot so it depends upon your design of the controller how you want if you want that uh, overshoot is fine but you want a faster uh, response time so you can use these coefficients like uh, 1 7 and 1.8 otherwise you can go with default in which there won't be any overshoot it will be like an over damp system but it will converge somewhere around in 70 seconds so that's all uh, I hope this video was useful where you got to learn uh, how to design a PID controller on your own uh, of course you can uh, always use the default one provided by uh, Matrox or MATLAB but uh, you can design on your own it's very simple you have to just use an integrated de derivative block and then sum it, sum it up and then you can play with uh, those coefficients also one more thing before I end this video what you can do is since you, to give the values of 
P, I, and D, you have to always go and change the values over here. If you want to make it simple, you can mask this block. The details of that, uh, how to mask a subsystem, I have shown in the video, which is above. But nevertheless, I'll quickly show you in this video as well. You can go right click and go to this create mask option and then uh, 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 click on this and then you can just define the different parameters kp ki kd and then uh, you can just set those parameters over here so it becomes very easy for you to do the tuning you can just directly do the tuning over here and you don't you you will not need to go each time inside the subsystem again i will repeat please watch my other video for details of how to do the mask Okay, thank you for watching this video. I hope this was helpful. Please watch my other videos to get more details about Simlink uh, modeling. Uh, if you have any questions, please put it in my comment section. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.